Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. So this is the unboxing for the June Snacku Box. Uh, snacks from Japan, as you could probably assume based off the name. Um, so, disclaimer on this, I'm not huge on matcha. And this is a matcha themed box for the month. Uh, so typically I've been really into Snacku where their themes have been really cool. But for me personally, not big into matcha. Uh, and for people who don't know, matcha is kind of like a powdered green tea in a sense, which I find it typically makes it like even more vegetal than just like having green tea. Um, so I'm just not huge on it. But that said, I might be surprised by some things. I don't know. We'll find out. So the Snacku box always looks the same on the outside. And then they do some things different on the inside. So some nice packaging. And I already went into it because I like to check it just ahead of time, uh, just to make sure that um, I can kind of like try to prioritize what I do first and last and all that. Um, and it's definitely a good thing that I did it this time, and you'll see why. So when I open it up, you can see whoop, just a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna move this so you can see the other ones. That. Mm. So it looks like there are some repeats in here that I've had in other boxes. I'll still go through and taste them for people who are seeing this for the first time, but um, I'll let you know if I believe it's one that I've had before. Um, so they always have a really nice kind of spoiler card. I'll go ahead and just show you this right now. If you want to pause on it and read all this stuff, you can do that, or you can wait as I go through it. So I'm going to get the weirdest thing out of, uh, out of the way first. Uh, and I really expect I'm not going to like this, but, you know, fingers crossed, maybe I will. We'll see. So, <laughs> it came in this. And this is why I was saying it was a good thing that I opened the box ahead of time. So, this had a powder in it. And this is a matcha latte, is what it is. And you can do it hot or cold. I went ahead and pre-made it cold because I'm not big on hot drinks. Plus, if I'm going to do this video, I don't want to, like, burn my mouth, you know. So I'm doing it cold. It's a matcha latte. It says, oh man, this first word I'm probably going to butcher pretty bad, so apologies. Itokumon, Itokumon uh, is a famous tea shop from Kyoto that has been producing premium green tea since 1952. Uh, they uphold tradition by hand-picking all of their tea leaves and stone grinding their matcha. This packet of matcha is lightly sweetened and is perfect either hot or cold. So like I said, hot or cold should be fine. And this is what this thing looks like. Um, I just put it in, mixed it up with some water. You see it's got like a, I don't want to like spill anything, but you can kind of see. Actually, I can just tip this. There's like a frothy head to it. Yeah, but this. Oop, I don't want to mess up the light too much. Check that out. It looks like a protein shake with like spinach or something in it. It smells like straight up matcha. Actually, let me adjust this a little bit there. Sorry. Yeah, it, it smells like straight up matcha. This is a very vegetal type smell. Green tea definitely smells like green tea leaves. All right, I'm gonna try this. And when they say latte, there's no coffee, it's just matcha. Okay, so that's just their idea of, it's kind of like a latte. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. With the little bit of sweetening that they have in there, I think that kind of neutralizes the bitter bite and vegetal taste of the matcha. So it's just very, very subtle. I actually don't dislike this. It's actually pretty decent. Maybe it has to do with the, the amount of water I put in there to kind of water it down enough for my taste, but it's actually not bad. It's kind of pleasant. I'm going to have my wife try that later and see what she thinks of it. I better go ahead and cleanse my palate. All right, so let's get into these other things. Let me go down the line. So after the matcha latte, I'm just going to hit all these matcha-related things first. So, the first thing we have after that is a matcha waffle, is what they're calling it. Interesting looking. A matcha waffle. And it says, twice-baked matcha-infused waffles filled with a lightly sweetened matcha cream, 
Morahan has been making these snacks since 1836. Who knew? Man, that's a long time to be in operation. Okay. Do you need, okay, they have a little tear on the side. Man, that helps me out a lot. Okay, so it's more of like a hard waffle. Yeah, it feels like it's gonna be kind of crispy. It's not soft at all or anything. And you can, it's hard to see, but you can kind of see the cream. I'll bite it so you can like really see the cream in there. It smells sweet. I'm gonna make a mess. It's definitely very crumbly. So it's really hard. I had a little taste of that matcha. Oh, actually, it's just coming apart. I'll just put that over here and I'll show you. So you can, I got it on the computer board, the keyboard. Yeah, you can see all the, that cream in there. Mm. I like how crunchy the waffle is. That's really nice, and it's actually relatively sweet to counteract that kind of vegetal bitterness from the matcha. So once again, just like the drink, the matcha flavor is pretty reined in. It's just like kind of like an accent on the end of, the, of each taste. I'm not going to eat any more because I'll finish it later so I can get moving, but I actually kind of like that. That's not bad at all. It's not something I'd go out of my way to get. But since I have it, I will eat it. So that's good. All right, and then the last, I think it's this, and I got two of these. Hojicha Sable. This is the last, I believe, of the matcha things. Uh, regional cookies made with locally produced roasted hojicha tea from Sayama. Okay. In the picture, it looks like it's like a brownish, greenish cookie. Kind of looks like a ginger snap, actually. See? Just kind of looks like brown. Like a ginger snap. If you need to. Yeah, there's like a... You probably can't see it on there, but there is like a slight greenish tinge to it. Hmm. It tastes... Tastes pretty good. It tastes like a darker version of like a butter cookie. You know, there's like maybe a little bit of like a molasses flavor to it. Decent amount of sweetness. I do get pick up on a little bit of the matcha. But again, like the last two things, it was pretty reined in. It's pleasant. This would be good with like coffee or tea or something like that. Just a nice little sweet something. It's not bad. Oh, my cat's in here checking things out. Don't need any of it. Not allowed. Okay, so, oh no, there is a little bit more matcha stuff. There's, I think, one more. And it's this thing. Azuki matcha. I thought that was, the well, last one was it. Azuki matcha. Uh, sweet azuki red beans from Hokkaido covered with matcha green tea chocolate made in Kyoto. By the way, I like these packagings. You know, like, it's just easy to open. See, and then you can still keep things in there. We don't have that in the U.S. And if we do, I haven't seen it. So basically, it's just like green, like matcha green tea covered red beans. All right, if you can see. Red beans are a little, like, fig-like, in my opinion, with the way they taste. This, mm. kind of comes off, tastes a little like red bean, like figginess with like sugar added, a little bit of the matcha and like white chocolate is kind of how it tastes to me. It's not bad, but I'm not really a fan of it either. So, yeah. mm. I don't really need more of that. I might eat it though because the beans have protein, which is good. All right, um, the next thing. So this is something we got before uh, in, a, in, I think, maybe even just the last uh, snacku in May, but they're chips. 
and these are Osatsu potato. Enjoy these regional Kagoshima chips made with organically grown sweet potatoes from the rich volcanic soil of Kagoshima. I wasn't a huge fan of these when we originally had them. I thought they were okay for what they're supposed to be. My wife quite liked them though, because she's a sweet potato fan. I'm just not a sweet potato fan. So there you go. It's like a kettle style sweet potato chip. I what it tastes like. It's not all that salty or anything. Um, it's like, I don't even know if there's salt added to it at all. Which I would assume the reason for that would be so you can taste the natural sweetness of the sweet potato. Which, honestly, if you're a big fan of sweet potatoes, those are probably really awesome. I'm just not a big fan of sweet potatoes. So, it's not really for me. But my wife will enjoy it. Let me get that out of flavor out of my mouth. Okay, that's an extra one of those. That's an extra one of those. Is this? Okay, so this must be the next one. This is... Millie Biscuits. This looks like kind of a little bit like Ritz crackers. Sorry for the glare on that. It's just that's what happens. Okay, so the Millie Biscuit. Simple yet delicious, lightly sweetened Japanese biscuits topped with a bit of sea salt from the Sea of Japan. Sounds good. Sounds like it can definitely be up my alley. I like things that are kind of like savory, salty. All right. Yeah, these kind of look like like little Ritz crackers. See? Yeah. Can't really smell much. Oh, a lot harder than I thought they would be. Yeah, the outside is really hard. They do. They have a bit of a butteriness to them. A decent amount of salt, which I, li I like the salt level. A little bit of butteriness with that salt. And then there is a bit of a sweetness in there. So it's kind of like a harder, smaller Ritz cracker with some sweetness added. I don't think I like how hard they are. Maybe they're a little bit softer, but they taste pretty good. I'm down with it. No problem there. Mmm. Those are pretty good. I enjoy those with my lunch because I'm shooting this around lunchtime. Yeah, it's just like a nice cracker. Okay, and then the last thing is Maru Maru Ramun or Ramune. So this has to do with that drink. I've never actually had a, like, a real popular like soda type drink from Japan called Ramun or Ramune or I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. Um, so... This candy is flavored with ramune, one of Japan's most popular soft drinks. During summer, you see Japanese children everywhere drinking this fizzy drink. So there's four different flavors, and I have one of each. Let me put this down for now, but I'll show you. Um, so I got the pink one, which I don't know what that flavor would end up being. I got the blue one, which I don't know what that flavor would end up being, but a lot of places will just be like, the flavor is blue, which is not a flavor. I got the green one and the yellow one, which when it's yellow, I automatically assume lemon. So uh, I'm gonna do the blue one, just because I'm very curious what this flavor is. I'm not gonna do all the other ones, because they're all gonna be about the same. All right, so it's like a powder on the outside. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Like it's a little bit powdery there. It almost looks white in that light, but it's blue. Ooh, it smells effervescent. You know how you get like those fizz candies? It kind of smells like one of those like sweet fizz candies. Which my cat yells in the background. Yep. Okay. So it seems texturally. Like, there's not going to be a whole lot in the, in the center. I was thinking maybe it was, like, that kind of powder stuff on the outside. And then inside it would be, like, a hard candy. But it kind of feels in my mouth like the it's the entirety of it is that powder. Which kind of gives it a little bit of, like, a fizzy quality. Flavor. I'm not sure what that flavor is. Maybe it's, like, a blue raspberry. 
is what's supposed to be. But I'm gonna bite it. Yep. Uh, ah. Oop, I should drop some. But yeah, because it's that powder, I kind of like dissolves and gives this kind of like fizzy effect. So it comes off kind of like a soft drink. Um, really sweet. A hit of like tart fruit in there, which I'm assuming is a blue raspberry. Good. I mean, for what it's supposed to be, it's not bad at all. I think I prefer it more if it was like a hard candy in the middle that you can kind of suck on a little bit after you get rid of the stuff on the outside. But pretty solid. All right. So uh, overall, it was pr pretty good. Actually exceeded my expectations as far as the matcha stuff went because it really was reined in. After that super sweet thing, I need to drink some of this. Now, with how, how sweet that candy was, it makes this taste a little more vegetal and, and bitter, but still not bad. Yeah, pretty happy with that, actually. Um, very interested to see what my wife is going to think of all these. Uh, like, like usual, it's just a lot of fun to just kind of experience new snacks, and this is kind of me stepping outside of my comfort zone in the sense that I would never like go to a store and be like, oh, I'll get this matcha thing, I'll get this matcha thing. So it's nice to have something like this where the box just kind of forces you to try it because then you're like, oh, that's actually not that bad. I can eat that. So cool. Snacku doing a good job. Always look forward to what's next. So I don't know what the theme is going to be yet for July, but always excited to find out what the theme is. I'm hoping for a box at some point that's like really, really up my alley and is mainly just savory stuff. Like... I'm not huge on sweet. I'm, I'm cool with it in small amounts, which is why this tasting box by Snacku is good for me, because if I get something sweet, there's not a whole lot of it. So I can just like have a little bit and it's good. Um, but I really like savory stuff. So I'm hoping, hoping for some savory themes. But anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Uh, if you have any ideas on other videos you might want to see of mine, I do unboxings for um, two other things, uh, BAM boxes, both the BAM boxes, the original BAM box and the horror BAM box because I'm big into horror, um, so check that out. Also, if you have interest in, in movie reviews, but 30-second movie reviews and trailer reviews, check out the Stardust app. I am on the Stardust app. Add that, add me, follow me on it, and I do plenty. I'm almost doing one a day. It's probably averaging out to that because some days I do more, some days I don't do any. But um, you can look up my name is Carlton Malibu, all one word, C-A-R-L-T-O-N-M-A-L-I-B-U, Carlton Malibu. But anyway, thanks again for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.